everybody, welcome to today's video. Today, we're bringing the Caribbean to us. This is a great daiquiri recipe. Now, I'm using banana. I don't, bananas are one of those things that I do like them, but I'm very, very picky about them. I like them in my cereal. Um, you know, but I don't really care to just sit and eat a banana unless it's not ripened at all. I do not like ripe bananas. But for this recipe, a ripe banana is better. Now I'm using two bananas, two large bananas. And depending on what you want, if you want it like just really, really banana-y, then use more. And again, I mean, I do these because this is what I enjoy and you know what? I'm, I'm just trying to hopefully give you some ideas of things to make. Well, it's up to you how much you want. So I just used two bananas. I've used one and it, it just, it really didn't have a real solid banana taste. So pineapple, I am using just chunked pineapple, put a couple pieces in there. Cause you know, nothing screams daiquiri like pineapple flavor. Okay. A little bit of the pineapple juice. Okay. Now I am going to put in some coconut milk. Mm. I put in uh, at least two to three heaping spoonfuls. Just, you know, add that coconut flavor. Now I made one of these the other day and I put coconut flakes in it and it was really good. The only problem is, is then you're walking around going, what is that? All day you're wondering what the heck you ate that's hanging around and it's coconut flake. But it was really good. It did give it a lot of flavor. Now, you know how I love to put water in all of my drinks? This is a protein infused water that is coconut pineapple flavor. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal water. I thought, huh, why not put it in my daiquiri? So. I'm going to put some of this in there. That is really, really good on its own. It, actually drinking this makes you think you're drinking a, a pina colada. That's the way it tastes. It is so good. Now for the best part, it's the rum. I put quite a bit of rum in here. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you about that. I do put quite a bit of rum, but that's because I mean, there's a lot of ice in here. So it's almost like you really, you know, you need to put more rum. Plus it's gonna make a lot. And you know, I mean, I'm not drinking this by myself. My husband's gonna help me drink this, but it'll be dispersed into all of this goodness. So it's not like you're just sitting there drinking a shot. Plus, if you want a really good daiquiri, you gotta have more rum, right? Now, my secret to this, mint. <laughs> it is just because. Not for any reason other than I like trying to incorporate my herbs into my drinks as much as I can, just like I like doing with water. Now, let's see. I still don't even know how to use this type of thing. Okay. Yeah, I still don't know how to use this stupid thing. <laughs> you can tell I don't use this a lot. I don't make a lot of daiquiris. Most of my drinks you see are just regular cocktails. Okay. Let's blend it together. Hold on, guys. Does that sound like paradise? I hear the beach calling. Mmm, goodness. Ugh, this is just. Oh my goodness. That smells so incredible. Okay. Now, I am going to. Um, you know what I didn't get? Oh yeah, there it is, okay. Never mind. I thought I didn't get my glass. Oh wait, I'm actually gonna leave the lid on. Yeah, I don't make very many um, blended drinks. That's probably why it's gonna even how to work the stupid thing. Mmm, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, you got the mint, you have the banana, the pineapple. Now, <laughs> again, this is it's just me and I know it's weird to do because it's a daiquiri, but I actually do top it with coconut LaCroix. Not much, just a little bit. And you know what? Make it cute. Let's put a little mint leaf in there. Let's take a look at that. Mmm, 
See all that goodness? No. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually surprised myself. This is actually better than I made it the other day. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, you really can taste this, this water. You can taste the flavors of it in there. It's like a, you know, you just take a, a pina colada and throw some bananas in it. This is actually really, really, really good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I surprised myself. Mm, that's very tasty. You know, and it, it has just the right amount of banana flavor for me. Because like I said, I'm not a huge banana lover. And I love banana bread, but who wouldn't? It's got nuts and sugar in it. But this here is just the right. Now, if you want banana, I would actually do three large bananas. Don't put too much pineapple. I put, I would say, seven, maybe six or seven chunks of pineapple in there. And it was just enough. But I think if I did a little bit more, it probably would overpower this drink. And it's supposed to be a banana daiquiri, but the mint is very subtle. So people are gonna be asking what you put in there because you can taste it, but it's not identifiable. <laughs> so it's it's got that mint, but no one is gonna know because it, it, it's just, it's, it's lost, but it's still flavorful if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, oh my gosh, you have got to try this. This water though is hard to find. Um, the only place I've ever found it is Tom Thumb and we don't have a Tom Thumb down here. So I'm gonna have to probably get it on Amazon, but use this. Cause like I said, I love to put water in all of my cocktails. That's what I do. That's what part of my channel is about is trying to make a little bit healthier, you know, drinks. And I know it doesn't make sense, but I mean, for people that like cocktails, they want to be able to drink without feeling guilty or feeling like, well, I can't have a cocktail because there's just so much added sugar to what people make. So I'm trying to do the alternative. I'm trying to find better, healthier ways of making you a cocktail that doesn't have added sugar. I do enjoy my cocktail, so that is why I have created this channel, because I wanna help you figure out healthier, tasty ways of replacing the refined sugar and making it just as good. This is incredible, and there's, there's no added sugar in here. There's none at all. It was a pineapple, it was banana, it was a little bit of mint, protein water, LaCroix and then a little bit of the coconut milk. Well, the coconut milk doesn't have any sugar in it. It has a little bit of fat, but not sugar, but it's just, it is so dang good. And you know, it is, you can make really, really, really great cocktails without having the benefit of, of having too much sugar. Anyway, I want you to try this and let me know what you think. And like I said, everything that I do, you can adjust to your own taste. Make it the way you want it. If you want more rum, put it in there. If you want if you want more pineapple, then do that. If you want more banana, you know, it's your recipe. I'm just trying to help you figure out ways of making it better. Nope. Well, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers to the Caribbean. Mm. That was so, so good.